Just after a tough 10 round fight with Derek Rossi, how tough it was? Oh, I took him lightly, unexpected, you know. A lot of people say, oh, you know, you're more experienced, you got power, this and that. And, you know, that's the least I should always not underestimate a young kid who's got a great record, who's fought everybody, Royal Eliminators. And, you know, I've been around the world, I fought the best, controversial loss to the best, but they know I beat. But I just want to take my hat off to this kid who came to my hometown, you know, fought a good fight, you know, then come to late, I came to win, and I just want to thank the crowd, you all, Fight News, the people, you know, to come to support me. You predicted the knockout, but the fight was going uh, in certain parts a very grossy way. Uh, did you have a problem with his jab, especially in the beginning of the rounds? Not too much of his jab, it's just his style. He's very an awkward fighter, unorthodox. So, you know, so a person can't just go in there and try to throw bombs. The kid is very crafty. He's an athlete. He's a former football player. I needed this 10 hard rounds. I haven't had a 10 hard round in, you know, several years, you know, in three, four, you know, years. So it was good for me, you know, go back to the drawing board, you know, for this young fella, <laughs> you know, I'm up there with the, you know, the Thompsons and the Vitalis, you know, I'm at that age, but, you know, the good thing is keep active, eat right, stay healthy, and stay in shape. What was a decisive factor for you? Uh, why did you think you won? What was the one punch that you can count every time? My jab, you know, it was kind of hard to land my jab consistent on Ross for a simple fact. The kid's a good counter puncher, a little crafty, so I couldn't go in there reckless. You know, I had to be strategic, you know, I had to work my way up. You know, the kid came to win. Like I said, he's a tough kid, big kid. You know, I'm all, I'm, today's consideration, a small heavyweight, you know, like the Thomas Adamac, Eddie Chambers, et cetera, et cetera. So for me to keep up with these big boys, you know, and not get hurt too much, so I thank God I'm okay. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll keep progressing. You mentioned uh, some of the fights you lost were the controversial losses. This fight uh, was the one in front of your hometown uh, crowd close to Chicago. This was a special meaning for you? I mean, the, maybe the better things and the bigger things are coming. Yes, yes, for simple fact, because I got to fight in front of my crowd, especially this fight is dedicated and my kids' teacher that helped me Three of my boys, Solomon, Naeem, and Baby First Junior, to graduate eighth grade. My kids, you know, they're very tough kids. It was hard for me to raise. I mean, they were beautiful kids. It's just, you know, bad connection, bad kids. They're associated, and this teacher helped me, you know, overcome all these obstacles. So I can concentrate on my career. And she just passed away this January, and I dedicated this fight in her memory. Her name is Miss Marla Fitzgerald. You looked at for the knockout. You could tell from the beginning. I mean, you wanted to, you know, tear his head up. I mean, it, it looked like it. I mean, and, yeah. and it didn't work because he moves pretty well. I mean, yes, yes. I came in there, like I said, I underestimated. I came in and tried to blow him out, and that's the strong strategic going in this fight with mine, thinking I'm gonna stop him. And you know, the kid was ready for that. You know, he knew I'm a puncher. I could throw punches. I hurt him several rounds. I mean, I had him wobbled, but you know, the kid stuck in there. Held and you know it's pretty crafty and uh, survived ten rounds. You said you're ready for the smaller heavyweights. Uh, you mentioned a couple of names. Uh, who would you like to fight next? I mean, if we forget the Klitschkos for the right. second and we leave the you know the other guys, oh, the top to ten. Seth, in the, uh, Seth Mitchell. Um, he's fighting uh, Jonathan Banks, oh, so not, not for a while yeah. then. Uh, you know, maybe uh, Thomas. Uh, Thank you, Carl. Right, God you bless you. Great, Bobby. Great fight, fight, man. Keep your head up. You're young. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming no. here and, and showing the world. Thank you, Bob. My pleasure. God bless no. you. My pleasure. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. So, coming back to the question, uh, the other guys outside of the Klitschkos. Yes, uh, I definitely like to fight. Uh, you know, it's the brain, it's the Vern. I forgot his name. Uh, well, Chris Serriard is not really meaningful no more. You see, he's pretty much not the same <laughs> no more. So, he's out of the picture. Um, you know, um, uh, not too many How guys. fast can you be ready? I mean, how, how much uh, break do you need after this 10 rounds? Oh, so, oh, I come in, you know, by July, August. No, well, August, September, I should be ready. You should be ready. Yeah. Thank you very much yeah. with the Fresh Oquendo, who after 10 rounds uh, beat uh, a very game Derek Russell. Yes, very game and hard fought and, you know, beat him, thank God, fair and square. Thank you very much. Thank you.